Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick, illustrator for Gina K Designs, and I'm so grateful you could join me today. I have a fun project to share with you today, and it's going to be all about watercolor, tags, and tombos. And the inspiration for today's card project comes from this card creation, but we're going to give it a little bit of a twist. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the supplies. Okay, here is a quick look at all of the supplies I'm going to be using today for the project. And I just wanted to let you know that they're all listed down below in the description. I'm just kind of showing them to you all here one at a time. So you can take a quick peek, trying a little something different instead of shouting out each supply. Just know that the complete supply list is down below in the description. We are going to be watercoloring with some Tombow markers. So I do have two Tombows and a watercolor pencil here. Okay, let's talk about the stamps and the dies that I'm going to be using for today's project. I'm using my new Seasons of Joy stamp set with the accompanying die set. And I have two other holiday stamp sets and I really like these two sentiments. I'm just not sure which one I'm going to use. Now I'm gonna try something a little bit different here. Instead of you watching me stamp out all of the elements, I've already pre-stamped them and I'm going to talk through uh, the next phase because I really wanted to spend more time watercoloring with you. So I've stamped the tag out on some Canson watercolor paper. It's a really easy going and easy to find watercolor paper. And I also stamped the flower image right inside of the tag. I've got the four coordinating pieces, the two leaf elements and the two berry elements that I already pre-stamped out as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just put the coordinating dies on top of these images. And you could fussy cut them if you don't have the dies. And I'm going to run them through my die cutter. I use the platinum six and just die cut them out. And I just love all of these images. Okay. It's just so cool to have those dies and just to be able to um, cut those images out. So I'm going to review the colors with you again. It's grass green for those leafy green elements. And I used cherry red for the berry elements. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and push them up here. And I also wanted to share, I used obsidian because I'm going to be using some Tombows as watercolor medium. So I really wanted that black color to be really super rich. All right, let's talk about tags and Tombows here. So I just haven't played with my Tombows in a while. So I decided to pull them out because you can get some really, really easy going watercolor effects with these water-based markers. So I just applied a little bit of the pink marker down on this watercolor paper, and you can see how easy that, that color and that pigment will blend with just a little tiny bit of water. Now the Canson watercolor paper is really ideal for working with the Tombows. I'm just working around this flower and you can see that I'm just very softly putting in a layer of color. I'm not painting out each one of these leaves in the floral. Now you could totally do that, but I really wanted this to just kind of be a quick and simple card. I've got that first layer of that hot pink color down and I'm just gonna take a, and put a little bit of this color on my watercolor paper and just kind of use my watercolor paper, my scratch paper here as a palette. So I just put a little bit of that down, just picked the color up with my, um, my water brush. And this is the Pentel Aqua, Aquash brush, I believe is what it's called. Um, but it's the mini, so it's just kind of cute. It fits really great in a travel pack if you um, like smaller water brushes. So, and again, that's listed down below in the description with all of the other supplies. So you can see that I'm just going around all of the flowers and just getting that first layer of that hot pink color down on to the, the, um, the flower. I was just getting a little aggressive there. You can see my camera jumping around. Sorry about that. So I'm just layering these colors on top of each other and each layer 
is still transparent with the Tombows, but you're getting some of the color showing through from underneath. So you get that dimension and you get a little bit of that extra color kind of shining through. And that technique is called glazing. So I'm taking my yellow, um, I'm taking my brush and I'm taking my yellow watercolor pencil here and I'm just got the tip of it really wet and I'm just kind of flicking off onto the tag to get that watercolor pigment to just flick onto my tag here. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that um, yellow. The yeah, I really like the way the yellow is splattered into my flowers, but I'm going to pick up a little bit of that yellow from the Tombow and just add it to the center of the flowers just to make that pink really, really pop. Okay, I'm going to set that tag aside, and now I'm going to talk about making the card base pop. Okay, so this technique, I'm using the big honkin' flower in the Seasons of Joy set, and I heat embossed it onto my Gina K Designs black cardstock with some black embossing powder from Gina K. And you can see that it gives that black cardstock that depth and texture and also the shine. So I'm going to go ahead and put assemble the card and get the tag onto this card so that we can come into the finish line here with um, completing the card. So I just went ahead and assembled that tag. Now I'm just going to position my leaves and my berry bits on to the card. I've just got a little bit of Gina K Designs Connect glue, and I'm going to just pop that underneath that tag on the left hand side here. And because I used some of the foam squares, I was able to just kind of pop up that tag a little bit without adding an intense amount of um, height, but it allows me to get that those leaves and the berries and the greenery pieces up underneath the tag without a huge struggle. So I'm loving the way this is looking. Now I'm just trying to decide what sentiment I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead with the Marion Bright um, sentiment. And the reason why is because it's kind of whimsical and this whole design is starting to have a whimsical flair to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink it up with some obsidian and just stamp it right down on that tag. Now, normally I would stamp the sentiment first before I apply it. But I guess I got a little too excited and just went ahead and stamped it. Okay, so now I'm going to come into the finishing touches here and I've got some Emerald City sequins and I really love these sequins. They're small, they're petite, but they also have that reflective green that really goes very, very well with the grass green leaves in this card design. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply three sequins. I put a little dot of the connect glue down and I'm using that Marvi Uchida jewel picker and I have um, another tool, the uh, picker tool to help me just kind of flick it off and just make sure it gets into the glue really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all of my pieces away and then I'm using the white Uniball Signo gel pen. I love this gel pen. It's the unicorn of white gel pens. It really does add that extra white look and feel that I'm always trying to achieve to kind of jack up the whimsy of my card. So I'm totally digging it. I'm just adding a few little dots by hand around the leaves, the berries, and the greenery just to give it a little extra pop. Okay, let's take a final look at the card project. And I brought in her sister. The one on the left was our inspiration. And the one on the right is the one that I created today. So loving, loving the embossed background texture with that big honkin flower. It covers a lot of space really quickly, but it also just gives this card a little extra touch of whimsy. So I have a free download for eight card sketch ideas for Seasons of Joy. And I'm hearing from you all that you really like these sketch idea sheets. So I just enjoy making them for you. 
The link to the free download is below in the description and I hope you enjoy all of the ideas. So here's another look at the Seasons of Joy stamp set and the accompanying die set. You can pick this up at GinaKDesigns.com and the link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. And I'm sharing more card and watercolor tutorial videos for your inspiration right here. So come on in and take a peek at my tutorials. I have a lot to share and I'll see you next time.